everybody. Brad Nessler here with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit bringing you today's exciting matchup. The Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the UCF Knights and the Texas Longhorns. In the midst of this wonderful college football season, this game certainly looks to have all the energy of a championship game. And here come the Longhorns. The Knights are pretty heavy underdogs in this game. What do you think is going to happen out here today, Kirk? Texas has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against his defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow out here. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. There's no way Texas loses this game. But come on. Well, that's it for the pregame. Let's get down to the field so we can get this thing started. This one's a short kick. Williams fields it at the 22. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Longhorn. A spectacular showcase of skills there, guys. Ah, no question. That was one of the most amazing returns I've seen in a long time. What was special about this, Coach? The big question, is this defense going to be able to stop him? The key for this defense is to wrap this kid up. Lunging and arm tackling just won't work on this back. But if they can slow him down, they'll have a good shot at winning this game. Hands it to the back. Brought down at the 42. Yeah, they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. At the point. And he's all the way down to the 45. And the tailback comes up with a great run. Let me tell you why that play worked right there. The blocking up front was sensational. Give me the ball. I want to take a stab at this game. Give you the ball. I'm sure that defense wouldn't mind putting a lick on you after some of the things you said earlier this week. Not showing three wide. Here's the option. Sheds that one. Brought down with only one man to beat. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see. There's a missed tackle. He jukes him. He's tackled at the seven. Some points on the board here as well. Gives it left side. Touchdown, Texas! Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And it's a short kickoff. Ross takes it at the 12. At the 40. Across midfield. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. Are lining up with three receivers. McGee gets it on the inside. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. A long ways yet to go. But at the end of one, our score, Texas 14, Central Florida 7. McCoy hands it off. No, play fake. No one opens, so he's going to run. Oh, what a move. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 26. And that one's going to drive the defensive coordinator absolutely crazy. This kid is so dangerous. Brad, you're exactly right. The defense has to be sitting there asking themselves, how are we going to stop this guy? Kurt, stop this guy. How about slowing him down first? Receivers. McCoy with the give. Bounces off a would-be tackler. The five. 
He's all the way. Touchdown. So they call his number and he gets into the end zone again. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. Yeah, this kid showed up to play today. I really like what I've seen from him so far. Looks to pass. Wants to throw a screen. And it's the senior. Ball's loose. And they fall on the loose ball. And that is not what they needed. They already needed a couple of scores to get back in this. Now a turnover. In the backfield. McCoy back to throw. Under heavy pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. McCoy, he's still down, and it looks like he's in a lot of pain. Yo, he's in a lot of pain down there. I hope he can bounce back from this one, you guys. He's a good kid. It's up. And he got it. They'll throw on first down. He's under pressure. He lost the ball. Recovered by the defense. Uh-oh. This could get ugly. And it's looking that way right now. They really need to hold them here so they can get the ball back. And the result in another touchdown. He steps up. And it's complete for the touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. First of all, he drops back. Moves up in the pocket. Looking. He's looking down the middle. Got it to his receiver. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third... And he's hit hard at the 49. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Texas, 31. Central Florida, seven. Three receivers. Drop back to pass. Stepping up. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The fifth-year senior at linebacker drops the quarterback to the ground for a sack. you got to love a kid with this kind of intensity on defense. He's just so tough out there. And I remember when they were recruiting him years ago. They almost stuck him at fullback. Well, it was obviously a good decision to make him a linebacker. Three receivers. He's looking to pass. Here they come. They'll sack him at the 43-yard line. What do we have, Lee? We have sack number four today. This defense came to play, and I love it. He drops back. He zips one over to the right, and he's got him on the run. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have... Play action. He gets rid of it. Complete. Just past the tackle. And down he goes at the 41 yard. Three wide. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Rolls to the right. It's on the ground. And the defense is on it. And the defense got on it quickly. That was a heck of a play by the big one. Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big linemen get their hands on the football. Right. He drops back. Fires across the middle. Gets past the tackle. Brought down at the nine. There's a flag on the field, and I think I have a good feeling of what this might be. They'll bring the ball back and mark off some yards against them. Third down again. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Texas 31, Central Florida 7. He takes off, and they make the stop at the 18. A big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeyes, Steve. I don't know. Setting up play action. Down the middle. Complete. Thomas brings him down at the 38. Defense coming with heat on that plate. Yeah, the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback a play fake. He throws left. He's got his tight end. And he's all the way down.
down to the 24. That was a pretty nice completion. Yeah, but it's still a three possession game. And that's a lot of ground to make up in the fourth quarter. I give him credit, though. This quarterback refuses to give up. Drops back to pass. The Cavalry's coming. Let's it fly. He catches another. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz... Setting up play action. Looks. To the end zone. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. The two tight ends. Harvey up the gun. He's got the two. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our gun set. Harris running the option. He laterals the ball. Ball is loose. Fumble. Richard with a recovery. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. And that's going to give these guys a chance. Fakes to the back. He throws. It's a tip drill. Brought down at the 38. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah. Formation. He looks to throw on first down. He rolls out to the right. Throws to the middle. It's his tight end. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of all, this is just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. His coach won't be too happy. He just cost his team 50. Drops back on first down. Looking. Rolling out to the right side. Number four passes, and it's caught for the touchdown. The quarterback mixed things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills, and I've seen a lot of improvement in him. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the score is Texas 31, Central Florida 23. They'll run for the first on third and short. Richards brings him down for a loss. Central Florida will call a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Rolls right, surveys the field. Number four, unload. Brought down at the 40. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. He looked like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding. But hey, you can't do that. Drop back to pass. He's rolling right. He looks. Number four, throws, he snags it, he's tackled at the 27, and they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there, you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. This one's in the books, folks. Kirk, any final thoughts here? I'm sad to see this one in because it's a great game to watch. UCF had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Folks, thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, Texas 31, Central Florida 23. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.